Hey, how's it going everybody? Here we are, day 59, just over eight weeks, just shy of two months of my recirculating black worm keeper. And as you can see, all worms are alive and well. And I think I am getting some uh, reproduction through fragmentation. You can't tell how many worms are in here now, but when I do feed, they come out like crazy. So I've got a lot of worms. I don't feed my tanks too often with these worms. Uh, a couple reasons. I'm not trying to breed anything right now. Plus the types of fish I keep, I don't want them to get bloat. You don't want to feed too many black worm. But the positive notes. Uh, last video I left you, I said I was going to feed potato flakes this side, paper towel and uh, Indian almond leaf on this side, see which they prefer. Um, I quickly abandoned that and I found exactly what they like to eat. Spinach. Baby spinach. They just devour that within a day. I'll put like eight or nine leaves of baby spinach in here and they just destroy it. So fresh vegetables has been my most uh, or the most positive food that I've been able to feed because they completely consume it all. So I'm not worried about potato flakes which kind of dissolve and end up in the water column or tab, uh, algae tabs that kind of do the same thing. Um, this food or leafy vegetables, they completely devour and consume it all. So they've eaten, baby spinach is definitely their favorite, but they have also eaten broccoli, uh, cauliflower is another good one that they really love, um, arugula basically a spring mix. I've fed them the tops of celery, you know, the leafy part that you kind of just always throw away. I've fed them that. Um, that's not their favorite, but they will eventually eat it if there's nothing else left in here. But uh, I gotta say, I'm really happy with this worm keeper. Original culture, probably almost double in size of the original. It doesn't look like it from here, but you can see I have a lot of fat and alive, healthy worms. Is a remainder of a leaf that they kind of uh, they're still going strong on but I think I'm gonna end up removing that I'm just before my water change for the week uh, my water's not ready yet though and I don't want to put it in too early but I got a lot of worms and uh, couldn't be happier with this recirculating kit the the ambient temperature in my garage has been anywhere between 65 degrees and 90 degrees this summer and they are thriving they are thriving at that temperature eating well and now that i know what they eat and can actually see that's what i like about the vegetables i can actually see them eating it and when it's gone i know it's gone it just didn't dissolve and become some sort of muck in the uh, water column so I couldn't be happier. Um, two full months. They're not going to die tomorrow, so I'm going to call it two months of, uh, of this culture. And not in my refrigerator. Wifey loves that. So that's all I have. Leafy vegetables have been my friend, making me some fat worms. Um, and really all over the place. They're they're just throughout this whole system. Now my biggest concern, I guess, is how many worms in this five gallon system is too many worms in the five gallon system. I've already had to start doing two water changes a week uh, just because the water fouls quicker. Now I don't know if that's because of the feeding or because there's a bigger bio load. Probably a little from column A and a little from column B. So until next time, Gotta say, loving this. Loving the fact that these worms are reproducing and that I have a live culture to feed to my fish uh, pretty much whenever I want to. Comment, read, subscribe. We'll catch you next time.